The Poco X2 is clearly a mid-range device with the Snapdragon 730G, and you would say I would be crazy to test it against the flagship Galaxy S10e, which was only released last year. But actually, I'm going to test it against the Exynos version. Will that make a difference? Well, let's find out. So we have the Poco X2 with the Snapdragon 730G on the left-hand side. That was a phone released this year, 2020. On the right-hand side, we have the flagship Galaxy S10e, released in 2019, but this one has the Exynos 9820 in it, not the Snapdragon processor. So is that going to make a difference? Well, clearly at this point, it seems that the Exynos is standing up to its name. Uh, flagship status, as it is well ahead of the Poco X2 with the Snapdragon 730G, it's already into the compression test and the lead is building all the time by the look of it. It's now going to complete that. There we go, it's completed that. It's already into the 16 thread test as the uh, Poco X2 is still Still struggling there with the compression test. I say struggling, of course, it's doing it very well, but of course, this is compared to the speed of the Exynos. This is really, there we go, already now into the blur test. So well ahead, it's already into the mixed CPU, GPU part of the test as we now wait to see where we go into the infinite list. So even yet, the uh, lead is building up because only now is the Poco X2 going into the blur test as the a a Galaxy S10e is now into the smoke particle test. What's the frame rate? going to be maybe this will be an indication 19 frames a second will that be an indication of what we will see later on as it's now already into the test so it's well into the 3d testing now while the poco x2 is still going through the mix cpu gpu it's now coming up with the smoke particle test let's see what number we get there is this going to be a difference 18 frames a second well that's an interesting but as i'm saying that now it's going into unity test and the unity test is running on the right hand side we can see it flying now around the castle it will go up and then down towards the river and then towards the end of that valley and the poco x2 seems to be doing quite well could it be a chance that the poco x2 will actually catch up with the uh, galaxy s10e with the exynos processor they're both down in the river now and they're going right round. who's going to get to the end of the valley first it's going to be the galaxy s10e so it clearly went into the, the unreal test first however could this be a moment where the poco x2 is able to claw back the lead and actually go through this uh, woodland scene this forest scene any quicker they're both flying down the pathway here which one's actually going to win which one's actually going to get to the end of the test first it's going to be very close i'm sure of it what's it going to be which one's going to get there oh they look there we go two minutes 28.2 for the galaxy s10e and the poco x2 is still going there we go two minutes 34 point two okay well let's break down those scores and see exactly what happened so clearly a win there by the galaxy s10e with the exynos 9820 two minutes 28.2 and then six seconds later the poker x2 with the snapdragon 730g two minutes 34.2 let's look at the cpu times 59.8 versus 47.8 so a clearly win by the galaxy s10e into the mix cpu gpu 32.1 versus 25.8 so again another clear win by the galaxy s10e Things are a bit different when we get to the GPU. 1 minute 2.2 for the Poco X2. 1 minute 14.5 for the Galaxy S10e. So actually a win there by the Poco X2. However, it wasn't enough to claw back the lead. So overall, the Galaxy S10e won. 2 minutes 28.2. My name is Gary Sims, this is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you like these kinds of videos, well, why not stick around and subscribe to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.